On the fifth day of Christmas, a sparkly festive scene. The Tower of Babel. Now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As men moved eastwards, they found a plain in China and settled there. They said to each other, come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used bricks instead of stone and tar instead of mortar. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves and not be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the men were building. The Lord said, if as one people speak in the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. So the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there, the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. So nice to be with you on uh, this Sunday, December the 5th. And uh, we've had church this morning and we've made all kinds of things. We've made Chris Dingles and we've made these little hearts. I don't know if you can see it, but it says love came down and God with us on the other side. And so we're going to flip back now quite a long time, all the way back to the time of Genesis. That's the first book of the Bible. And we're at Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. And uh, thanks to Cheryl, who's read that for us. And this uh, story today is called The Tower of Pride and Glory. After the flood, God blessed Noah and his family. He took Noah, his three sons and their wives, to have lots of children who would spread out and fill the earth with his glory to make God famous. There was just one problem. Noah still had a sinful heart. He passed sin down to his sons, who passed it to their ch children, and the cycle continued. Before long, God's people were disobeying his word again. They decided they didn't want to spread out on the earth to make God famous. Instead, they wanted to stay together for their own safety and make themselves famous. The people settled in one area and began to build a city and a tower that would climb all the way up to heaven. They thought they were pretty great and they wanted the whole world to know about it. But God knew his children would never be happy trying to make themselves famous without him. True happiness comes from being with God and showing his glory. And no matter how high the tower got, God's children would never be able to climb up to him on their own. So God came down. Just like this says, love came down. Because he is full of mercy and love, God most high leaned down low to stop his children for the work that they were doing before they climbed any further away from him. God made the people speak many different languages. If they could not understand each other, they couldn't work together in one place to disobey God. And Noah's family was now forced to spread out. People who spoke the same language grouped together and then separated from groups who spoke different languages. The place of the unfinished tower was called Babel, which means mixed up, because that is where God mixed up the people's words. The Tower of Babel reminds us that we can't climb up to God, but he loves us so much that he's willing to come down to us, even when we are sinning against him. Many years after the Tower of Babel, God came down to his people again. This time, he didn't come to separate them from each other because of sin. He came to save them from sin and bring them back together as one big family.
So this is what we made today. Love came down. And there's a verse in the Bible that says, Emmanuel, which means God with us. So that's what we made today. God's people disobeyed him by staying in one place and building a city and tower to make themselves famous. God came down and spread them out on earth by making them speak different languages so that they could continue to show his glory. Now, Jesus came down to earth to save people from their sins and bring them together as one big family. So God separated them, spread them all out because they were disobeying him. And Jesus came to bring them back together as one big family. Now, you might have some questions. And if you do, you can write them in the comment bar. But there's some things that you might want to think about. So the first question that you can discuss is how did Noah's big family disobey the command God had given them? Number two. Why did they want to stay together and build a tower to heaven? And three, what is one way you try to make yourself famous rather than making God famous? Now, I hope you've been enjoying this book so far. We're only on day five, so we've got another 20 days to go. And um, I'm sure by now you'll have eaten your Advent chocolate. If you haven't, you can have yours now or later on maybe. Or maybe you could even have a mince pie. But I'm so glad that you're able to join us. If you've got any questions, send them to me in the comment bar or send them to me via messenger and I'll try and get back to you. And remember, love came down in the form of Jesus. God sent his only son that we can come back together and be a family because God is with us. Have a lovely day. See you tomorrow.